Hi everyone, Nigel Brooks here, Senior Consultant at SME Skills. Just wanted to come and give you a quick video today just about measuring your success. How are you going to know if the work that you're doing is going to yield the results that you want it to be? Um, almost everyone, or I don't know of anyone who's still on their Christmas break, but we're all back now. 2019, 2019 has started. Every minute, every hour, every day that goes by is more opportunity that we haven't got in order to put some money uh, in the bank, in the back pocket. Okay, so what I wanted to do is I'm sure you're all starting really hard now. We've all got rid of the Christmas uh, lethargy. Let's get on with the activity and make it happen. But how do we measure success? Well, the term that people are probably uh, more familiar with is KPIs, Key Performance Indicators, okay? So what you need to do is, first of all, you need to set a goal. There's no point trying to go on a journey unless you've got a destination. What are you trying to earn at the end of the month, at the end of the quarter, at the end of the year? Once you've worked out that figure, it's much easier to stretch for it, to reach for it, and surpass it. And don't most people think, well, if I set a goal, I might not make it. No, if you believe that, you aren't going to make it. If you set a goal, aim to surpass it, and then if you do that, fantastic. And if you don't surpass it, then you might just hit goal anyway, so you've done what you set out to do. So first things first, figure out the goal. Work out what all your costs are, what all your expenditures are, so that's the bare minimum that you have to earn to break even. And then on top of that, you need to think, right, what is it that I want this year? Do I want to have a new member of staff? Do I want to go on a, a purchase some training of some sort? Do I want a, a vehicle or whatever it might be? Do I just want to have enough to go on holiday to China or Africa or wherever it is you want to go? Figure out what the monthly goal is that you need to work out. Once you've got that figure, that becomes your goal. You then need to work out how many orders you need to place in a month or you need to take in a month in order to hit that goal. So you need to know what your average order value is. Yeah, and we use the average because sometimes it's going to be higher, sometimes it's going to be lower. The average is the best number that we can use to work out how we're progressing towards that target. Yeah. Once you know what your average order value is and you've got your total amount that you need to get in the month, you can work out how many orders you need to take in order to reach goal. Okay. If you know what your conversion is, you then know how many meetings that you've had that will convert and how many meetings that you have that are not likely to convert. Yeah. So if your only order, if your conversion rate is fifty percent, then you need to see you need to have twice as many meetings that will actually close. That will give you an idea of how many meetings you need to hold every month, every week, every day. Yeah. Depending on how much you break it down and how successful you are. If it's the case then that you've got a figure of the number of meetings that you need to have every month or every week, you can then plan your activities. If you're going to a networking event and that's likely to yield two meetings and you need three meetings in a week, you need to do two networking events in a week. That makes sense? So that you're constantly staying ahead, you're always doing more than what you need to do. And if it's the case that you look at it at the end of it, it helps you plan your diary so you can think, right, these are the activities that I need to put into place to make me get to my goal at the end of the month. If it's the case that you aren't working right, you, you, you're doing more than possible, then you've got to have a shift somewhere. You've got to find a way of making it a reality. It might be the case that you need to have a look at your pricing. Maybe it's that you need to offer another product that's a higher ticket product so you need to have a reshuffle somewhere. Maybe it's that you're going to the wrong networking groups or the wrong events or uh, the social media thing that you do, the, the campaign that you've got is not working. You need to isolate those problems so that you can fix them now so that you can start reaping the benefits of the proper uh, process later on in the year. Does that make sense? If you aren't measuring your success, you've got no idea if your activities are actually being useful. So if, if I could suggest anything to you that you start doing this month, is just sit down, spend five minutes, have a think about what your goal is, what do you want it to be, and how are you gonna get there? Put those steps in place, start with the goal and work backwards, and then you'll be able to see if you're gonna hit those goals and it will make you much more likely to do it. I'm Nigel from SME Skills. Tune in next time, thanks very much, bye-bye.